Alright, so I just want to quickly talk about um, how I interpolated the um, the de the deform ground to the from our rest script, essentially our rest. Um, it's all I've done it all in um, Vex. It's not too complicated. Um, so let's get cracking. All right. So essentially, what 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 we're what we're trying to achieve is almost similar to the pyro burst source under burst animation. So we've got the start frame and we got the frame duration. Um, and then the cool thing about this as well is that we we have all these um, ramp expansion over duration ramp. Um, they add a lot more uh, some some kind of animation curves to our timing. So let's get cracking. So all we want we want to do is fit the current frame with um the start frame. So I'm just gonna put start frame, and then our frame duration. So I'm gonna put frame. I'm just gonna put duration. Frame duration. Let me put that on. And let's say let's start on frame 1017. And with a frame duration of 5. So all we want to do is just fit the current frame. And if and the min would be start frame. And the max would be start frame plus duration. Let me put that zero to one. So if we visualize this with a color, you see if we on frame 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, and one after 17, all the way to 1017 plus 5, which is 1022, we become fully white. So that's cool. So, cool. Um, the cool thing about this as well is if we just plug this into a variable and we take a duration or um, animation ramp, put that in a ramp parameter and say sharp. So the look of our timing you see at cd equals anim just to visualize that boom and we 10 frames zoom so usually when it, when i want something more explosive i would go for this kind of ramp um so it goes um, it goes up pretty quickly at the start and then just slowly fades um slowly reaches to its maximum potential Eight frames. Oops. Boom. Boom. So that's cool. So now that we have a zero to one value, we can use this. Um. This mask to interpolate between two states, and those two states we want to interpolate is. this knee position that we have and our rest position, which is this. So it's simply just putting in at P. If you just put at P and V at rest, we can see since we have a rest attribute here that we plug into if, um, after the remesh, we got a rest attribute. You can see that our ground is actually on its rest state. If you just keep the color constant for now, you see that it's at rest state. And if I bypass this, 
and that will be our deformed state. So now that we have, we actually have this mass that we can interpolate from, we just have to use the function lerp and we lerp from our rest position and into our new position, which would be at T. Um, just to make things more readable, let's just store that T into a deform, deform pause and put that there and we put this on here so now if we check 1017 and to the frame that we want the duration of that animation is being applied onto our deformation Boom. Zap. pretty freaking cool and we can do this with, with any attributes that we want. Let's say, since I have, I've got these visualizers, just to get a good look on the ground while viewing it on viewport, we can lerp the CD as well. And let's say we lerp from a constant color to that new color, put anim. So, so let's just say, you know, I don't think we need to do this, but it, it, it would be more readable. Uh, let's just say um, scorch uh, new color. Take that, on that there. Zoom. Zoom. So that's cool. Um, I'm also, so it, this is pretty much most of what we need to do in this wrangle, but all I'm doing is interpolating the normals as well with the rest normals and all this ma all these masks I'm generating I'm interpolating from zero to the new mask values and that's it really um, this happens oops with both things mm. So see here I'm interpolating towards that value and in here I'm interpolating to boom this new mask. Wow, so cool. <clears throat> Nothing too fancy and that's really the gist of the whole deformation on the ground. Um cool. And then I'm just grouping that. Say sim area. And this is the extra bits of the ground. I called it horizon. And I merge them all back together. And yeah. Well, that's pretty much most of the ground def deformation part. Um, we'll talk about the rigid bodies for the ground pickup. And all that goody goody on another video. So I'll see you around. Bye.